back with the video, man. We made it off the plane. Today's Saturday, August 12th, man. We about to go do some soccer uh, evaluations, man. Somebody sees it from the start. We just got us something to eat, man. We want to pick up some cleats and stuff. Not cleats, but uh, shin guards. And we're going to go back, stop by the house, and then we're going to head to the field, man. So let's keep rolling. Guys, another weekend visiting my mom and son. About to fly back home, man. This is what we do, man. We be in and out, man. We bought that money and we bought that family, man. So we about to return the rental car and get to the gate. See, look at it. Look, look at this stupid person. My damn horn don't work on this Tesla. Ain't that crazy? You decided to get in front of you, just walk them to South Florida, man. So it's good visiting home when I can. But let's get back to the home and the money. We just returned to Tesla. Let's get up out of here, man. Bye-bye for now, South Florida. I'll be back soon. Oh, yeah. Good morning. All right, man, we back, man. As you can see, we flew down to South Florida. My son had uh, soccer evaluations, man. They had the little soccer training camp for the draft this week, man. Hopefully, my son make a good team. We back at home, man. We about to head over to Mobile, and uh, we're gonna get the trailer. We're gonna get some little, little, some bungees for the trailer. Then we're gonna head over to the plant and pick up a load on a Lafayette. That's gonna get us back into Texas. So we're gonna go over to Mobile, pick up this load. Hopefully the traffic isn't bad going through the tunnel. If you know about that tunnel, you know what I'm talking about. And we're gonna drop that off at Lafayette. Then we're gonna, we're gonna head over to Waco. We're gonna deadhead from Lafayette to Waco. Yes, I did say deadhead. The load is paying magnificent. They even paid me for deadheading. And I'm gonna pick up a Waco to New Orleans or either back to Mobile. So we gotta see, we're not sure. Once we get over there, we'll see what the broker wants us to do and we'll go from there. So let's get down this road and go pick up the load of Mobile. All right, we are here picking up the load. They got the plant. That's how they bag it up. They're not, that's how they bag up them pallets. And we just got uh, some seats on a, on a chartered jet. We going to the TCU Colorado game in Dallas. So we just got them tickets. So we going there for Labor Day. So we going to see what it do. All right, we just got loaded. Shout out to my people over there. We finna uh, throw one tarp on the front so for wind shear. We're gonna strap, we're gonna get this down to Lafayette. Just under four hours, so we're gonna be all right. Easy day, man, easy day. station and get this tarp on. Man, it's going to be a hot day today. But ain't nothing we can't handle. Yeah. Let's pull our brakes. to walk along the load because you can't get on top of it at certain plants. You got to use the tarpon station. So you got to... Then there's one on that side as well. Yeah, that sounds annoying. Go from this to... To this. Oh yeah, let's tighten down these straps in this hot wind. Let's get down the road. Oh yeah. All right. Ooh, let's get down the road. Yeah, man, they started more construction on good old I-10, guys. Man, 
it seems like this is the norm for the past three years. It's never ending, man. You know, I understand they're trying to wire infrastructure, but God, Lee, man, when would the construction ever stop? All right, let's get down there to Lafayette. Oh, yeah, we got three and a half hours to go. All right, coming over the 18 mile bridge, guys. Nice and good, no crowd, no traffic. Knock on wood, can't, can't beat this with a stick, guys. Nice and sunny, look at this weather, man. Let's see how far we got to go. We got about, uh, about 38 miles to go, man. We're gonna be in Lafitte, Lafayette. So let's keep pushing to get there, man. Get this load off and head to Waco, yeet. Yeah, let's get unloaded. Everything good to go. Let's go ahead and get our paperwork signed. The plot twist we got it unloaded but apparently the customer did not order the whole entire load of what was on my truck he only wanted eight pallets and he got to send back six but he was cool enough he took the six pallets off so i don't have to go take them back and the, another truck is going to come tomorrow my bad, I got the bird with the correct pallets, and then, then, then they're gonna go back east with them six pallets. So it worked out fine. We're gonna get up out of here and get the Waco. Let's go. All right, guys, we're on 45 North now. We're gonna shut it down probably another next 20 minutes. Stop and took us a little break, man. I, I mean, I don't know, man. I was eating, man. I got, I was hurting. I had to pull over, man. So I took a little break, but we got, we're gonna get about another 20 minutes down the road and hang it up. Uh, just go to sleep, man. We already ate. We ate a little while ago. We don't need to eat nothing else. So we'll just go from there, man. Get yeah, wake up first thing in the morning. We'll see. All right, guys. We made it to Buffalo, Texas at the pilot, man. We're going to end the video right here, man. I'm going to go take a shower, man. FedEx is hiring. We're gonna take a shower, man. I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow. Hey, real quick, man. Did y'all see what just happened to Donald Trump? He just got hit with a Rico in Atlanta. Man, Atlanta is not playing, man. Everybody and their mama in the kitchen sink getting hit with a Rico down there, man. Can't wait to see how this play out, man. You know, we don't talk about politics on here, but this is some big stuff, man. Trump got hit with a Rico, man. Y'all, oh, y'all take out my hair pods, man. So we're gonna hit the shower. Appreciate y'all for rocking with me. And I'll see y'all on the next one.